Become Rage Free Friday of the Week. I'm Matt Salzer, and today we are going to be going over some ketchup. So for Belt or 251, I'm going to give that to Corey Anderson for UFC on Fight Night Felder versus Dos Anos or UFC Fight Night 183. I'm going to give that to Chaos Williams for UFC 255. I'm going to give that to Davison Figueredo for his submission over Alex Perez within one minute. And for UFC on ESPN 18, I'm gonna give that to Anthony Smith. And then for UFC on ESPN 19, or UFC on ESPN Hermanson versus Vittori, I'm gonna give that to Marvin Vittori. And so let's get into this. So for reviews, I'm going to go over the main event for Marvin Vittori versus Jackson Hermanson. And Hermanson was coming in as the favorite. Marvin Vittori, an up-and-comer, was listed as the underdog, and he went in there and he controlled Hermanson for, I think it was, it seemed like three of the four rounds. A few of the judges gave him four out of the four rounds, four out of the five rounds, but overall, he did exert control, and he's shown improvement that he just has not uh, gained up to this point. He has gotten win, but it was just went to show that he did improve very much. He is very much on the rise, and we can definitely see that he is going places. Now, Will, and of note is the fact that he has faced in uh, Israel Adesanya before. So, could we get a rematch this time for the title? We'll just have to wait and see. It was also Vittori's first main event, his first five round battle and he rose up so it just goes to show he can go five rounds with Israel Adesanya we're just gonna have to wait and see because Robert Whitaker might be getting the next title shot again we'll just have to wait and see and see what the new year holds so that was UFC on ESPN 19 so previews and we're gonna go through these very quickly we're just gonna do the main events so for Bellator 254 on Thursday we are going to see Olivia Lane McFarland defend her title against Juliana Velasquez. And then for UFC 256 this weekend, we are going to see Davidson Figueredo again defending his title against Brandon Moreno, of whom he they both fought on that card. And they are doing quick turnarounds because they were not, you know, really injured. So we'll see how that goes. So yeah, that's it in a nutshell. Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, comment down below what you think of both this last weekend and what's coming up. Be sure to follow us at Matthew Salzer for me on my Twitter and my Instagram. Be sure to follow us at MMA Freakout on Twitter. Be sure to check out MMA-Freakout.com for exclusive content. Thank you very much. I'll see you next time.